<laughs> You're back. Look, Granny, you gonna, you gonna get tased like, by me, okay? Hey, I will sleep with hey, the taser. I didn't want to wake you. But no. Since you're, uh, <laughs> your back door was unlocked. <laughs> How is it going today? <laughs> Kingdom, my name's Wayne. My name's Jess. We're doing a Jazz Take Back for you, Mr. Nightmare. Three true scary field trip horror stories. Make sure you check his channel out. Link in the description below. Yeah, have you had any? Had any scares in field trip? I sure field have. Trip. No, I haven't. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about it after, but yeah. I haven't. I don't think I, let's not A lot has happened yeah, in, my, in so. my school life. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. -uh. It wasn't even my fault. Oh, my God. Oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> let's dive on him. Field trip yes, horror field stories. Trip. Is that says camp encouragement? Camp encouragement? I do not want No, it says oh, courage enrichment. enrichment. I thought enrichment. it said camp encouragement. Enrichment. Right, that just sounds like corny stuff. Let's go to camp <laughs> encouragement. I used to be in the Darien School District in Connecticut during my middle and high school days. That's very nice. It was nice a wealthier school. district, yeah. and a lot of field trips were offered to the students. Oh, wealthy. Okay. I was a member was of the chorus, and every year we'd take at least one or two optional field trips as a class. The year in question, in which I was a sophomore, we took a trip to Woodlock Pines Resort in Pennsylvania. Mm, that, sounds, that sounds nice. The bus ride there took a few hours. I was with my friend Landon. We were going to be sharing a room. From the moment we got there, we figured it was going oh, to be that that looks scary. It was November after all, so it was oh, cold birthday up there. Month. <laughs> we had three days planned for the trip, and there were four chaperones. They weren't know. really following us at all times. We just <laughs> had to tell them what activities we'd be going to do. Okay. The first day was fun. Landon and I, along with two girls who Ooh. we were friends with, did some go-karting, rock that. climbing. Rock climbing is when I did it before. Then we went to eat dinner. Oh, where? After dinner, we went you. back to oh, our I'm room and go. just hung out for a while. For the record, not all the students were able to get rooms next to each other. Oh, that's not good. The room was ground level, and there was a clear sliding door that provided a view of the lake down the hill. We went back out for a while, then came back to the room at about 10 o'clock. We left the blinds to the door open because the moon was giving off a cool reflection on the lake down below. I don't mess Little with the lake. Little did we know that would be the start Why? of the nightmare. Jason? <laughs> it's come if out I had to water. guess, I would say it was a whole hour of us just rolling around in both of our beds trying to get comfortable. Occasionally talking, before Landon, whose bed was closer to the door, screamed. I had no idea what was going on, why he could have been screaming, or if it was a joke, until I looked at the door. It was a sight from a horror movie. There was a really tall, skinny, older oh, woman no. with long grayish hair standing on the other side of the door, with her hands cupped up against the glass next to her face, as if she were trying to better see into the room. The woman then walked away. Landon looked at me, I guess waiting for me to get up so he would have the confidence to get up as well and run outside after her. No. Hell no. no. I didn't see her anywhere, though. The cement trail that ran past each and every room of the building was void of any people. There was nobody on the surrounding grass, nor anyone walking down the hill. We both saw the woman, though, so we knew we weren't seeing things. The next day, we didn't tell any of the chaperones, but we told the two girls who we were friends with. There you go. Night came once again after a long day of many activities. We entered the room through the back door and made sure to shut the blinds this time. There you go. There you there go. Landon fell asleep before me. I fell asleep around half an hour after him. I woke up to silence. I couldn't tell if something had woken me up or not. All I knew was that I didn't feel right. I sat up and whispered Landon's name to see if he was awake. He didn't answer, so I turned to the left out of pure instinct and curiosity to look at him. <laughs> but I couldn't see him. Something was blocking my view. Oh, of my God. oh no. Uh-uh. I looked up, and towering over my bed was the tall old woman. I'm tasing you. Oh. Two steps I'm back. Oh. You. Your back door was unlocked before turning around and walking outside. I was frozen in that bed, except for my shaking. I woke Landon and told him what happened. We locked the back door, shut the blinds <laughs> once again. Oh, I'm sorry. Pause real quick. Is this like supposed to be a helpful, helpful horror person? She's like walking in your room. Hey, hey, it's Granny. Your doors are locked. 
<laughs> You're back. Look, Granny, you're gonna, you gonna get tased like, by me, okay? Hey, I will sleep with hey, the taser. I didn't want to wake you. But no. Said, you're up now. Your back door was unlocked. I was, just, I was just staring at you. Make sure you had a good dream, not no nightmare. I'm, I'm actually the, the campus security. <laughs> your back door was unlocked. And then just walk out. Like, what the hell? Like, yeah, they just oh walk God. out like not do anything to me. Like, woman, I'm I'm hurting you. I don't care who you are. Right. Don't be in my room. I don't care if you're a faculty member of the school. I don't care. Don't be in my room like that. Stand at me like I'm while I'm sleeping. Yeah. Don't I, do that. Let's on it. I'm just I'm just like what? <laughs> <laughs> to stay up the rest of the night. To polite night. kill her. <laughs> it was already four in the morning, so we wouldn't be losing much sleep. By mm -hmm. eight o'clock, we went to the dining hall to eat breakfast. When we got back to our room building, ready to tell our chaperones, <laughs> we could see the old woman through the glass of the neighboring room. She was sitting on the bed, hands folded, sitting up straight, facing the door, facing us. Just we ran to the front desk in the lobby <laughs> building to report her to the staff instead of the chaperones. It was weird. None of them really knew what to do in the situation. Eventually, we persuaded Call them to please. come to the woman's room with us. She there they there. found the woman sitting in the oh. same position, along with an older man sitting on the other bed, looking up at them as they entered. Oh. Apparently the woman had some kind of mental disorders, but the man wasn't all there either. There was something very off-putting about him, mm. and they just weren't the kinds of people that you'd expect to see at a family-friendly resort. Right. The staff wouldn't kick the two out like we hoped, though, so we told our chaperones. Long story short, after a lot of arguing between chaperones and staff, <laughs> we had to end the trip early, mm -hmm. and we all went home. Mm -hmm. so, me and Landon were just happy to get out of there. Alive. Yeah. Man. I thought something would have happened after that. Like, they found, come to find out that they were like, I don't know. Don't try to wake me up and scare me like that. When I was in right. fourth grade, doing my class to took a field trip to a rural zoo type place about an hour away from our school. That, that looks fun. I remember vividly it was a cloudy day with the occasional raindrop or two falling. The zoo was oh, like, kind of small, but it was kid friendly. It had a decent <laughs> amount of habitats. Mostly smaller animals, though, nothing exotic. Oh, tag on it. That's not fun. There was also a big building tigers. as part of the zoo where taxidermy animals were put okay. on display. Along with zoo. other interesting attractions that I don't really remember. Admittedly, I was kind of off in my elementary and middle school years. I would do weird antisocial things and my teachers and my mom would pick up on it. For whatever reason, when we were touring the building as a group, I decided to walk into one of the bathrooms without telling any of the teachers. I did my business, washed my hands, and entered back out into the hallway. Nobody was around. Ooh. I walked down one of the See, hallways that's why you and hadn't crossed yet. Mm -hmm. I still vividly remember the dim, moody lighting and the scarlet red carpets of the hallways. My eight-year-old imagination was going wild as I witnessed all the stiff, lifeless animals <laughs> that were once alive behind the glass boxes. No, no, that is kind that of is creepy. Kinda creepy yeah. I stopped in my tracks when I saw some man, obviously hiding behind a stack of chairs. I think I laughed, thinking the man was joking around. He came around from the chairs and walked over to me, I asking where the group him. went. I said, I don't know. He grabbed my hand and told me to follow him. I must have thought he was taking me back to the group. No, he's He led me to, to an exit you. door, which led to the back section of the building, by a couple of dumpsters, a few benches, oh, no. and the woods. Oh, no, 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 When no, we no. got outside, his tugging became a lot more aggressive, oh, and no. his grip became you? tighter around my arm. He must not have he followed that rule, don't the woods. listen to strangers. I didn't scream or cry for help, but I remember the feeling I felt in my stomach. Like I was so afraid that I could throw up. And then a woman screamed at the top of her lungs. It was one of the teachers on the other side of the fence. The man let go of me and ran into the woods. Oh, she saw. Moments later, a few of the teachers ran outside the exit door to this side of the fence and pulled me back inside. The teachers all yelled at me, but at the same time comforted and smothered yeah. me. Yeah. They called my parents, and the field trip was officially over. Thank you. The owners of the attraction called the cops. We all got back on the buses, and we all went home. As my bus was leaving the parking lot, however, my observant eight-year-old self spotted the man crouching down in the woods near the road, 
hiding behind a branch, watching the buses pass. Oh my god. Once again, for whatever bizarre reason, I kept quiet. I was probably too shy at the time, or just too shaken up to, to say, say anything. anything. All the other kids looked at me weird the rest of the ride home. I didn't care. <laughs> but I hope that man never found success in snatching an unsuspecting young child oh my God. like myself at the time. Mm. That is very scary. A lot. Ooh. If that teacher didn't see him, he wouldn't even be telling a story. I know. That's... That is bad. Back in high school, Ooh, I, I hate took a mysteries and mythology oh type class or something like that. I don't remember the name of the class. How would you work on that? I hate him it Jones basically too. just had to do with real life mysteries and creepy shit. I was into <laughs> that kind of stuff. I was taking the class with a good friend who I'll call Ben for this story. The teacher at the class took us on a field trip to a nearby abandoned village with an unknown past. Why? The village was built in the early I 1900s, just, but seems as though it had been quickly you. abandoned shortly after it was built. The bus ride there was about 20 minutes. All of us were glued to the bus windows as we pulled up some sketchy looking decrepit <laughs> road cutting through mm -hmm. dense forest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The road mm -hmm. eventually led to a clearing. We were there. We stepped out onto the road which had grass growing through the cracks. The grass surrounding was almost knee high. Then there were the buildings. The tall, archaic brick buildings with the boarded up windows all gave off such chilling vibes. I don't know why I'm thinking the of Romeo and The teacher lined all 20 of us up, counted heads, and then <laughs> right there, yeah. Yeah. away. The point of this little field trip was to use the so-called skills we learned in class to see if we could put anything together about why the village may have been abandoned so long ago. Some of the buildings had holes in the walls to serve as entryways. Number one there answer. There were even holes <laughs> in the ground next to some of the buildings, seemingly dug to get into the basements of some of the buildings, which seemed creepy. There was one building, though. It stood taller than any of the others. Mm. It just intrigued me the most. While the teacher was leading the group towards the village church, Ben and I decided to sneak off on our own to look for anything interesting. When we walked off in the direction of the tallest thing. building, we saw a hole in the ground. It was dug by the back door of the building, which had been sealed off. So in the inside. hole was a ladder, which led down to the concrete floor below. Mm -hmm. We both looked at each other and knew we had to do it. Ben climbed yeah. up first, <laughs> then me. Flashlights on their phones, so we had a source of oh. light. No. I still could have used the front there. screen. Yeah. There were a couple of beer bottles, one graffiti tag on the wall, and dusty wooden planks everywhere. There was a wooden stairway which led up to complete darkness, since all windows and doors had been sealed shut from above. We had already gone as far as to enter the building, so we figured we'd go up the stairs too. Mm -hmm. I went first, and with each step, the creakiness of the hundred-year-old wood made me feel as if I was going to fall through each and every yes. step. Ben followed suit. This floor of the building was very tight. It seemed like there were many openings going off into different, smaller rooms. It was so dark that is in there, so you creepy. would never even guess it was daytime. Ben and I were honestly starting to get creeped out in there yes. and agreed yeah. to go back outside. But just then, there was a noise in one of the tiny rooms. Like a big rock hitting the concrete floor. Oh, no. A normal oh, instinct no. would be to run. Yeah. But Ben and I froze, locked eyes for a moment, then both tiptoed over to the opening of the room. We shined the lights into the room and ran. We ran back down the stairs and then up the rusty ladder back outside. We caught up to the group out of breath. <laughs> we didn't say anything, though, to avoid getting in trouble. Oh, was it? One of our classmates asked us what was wrong. We told him we snuck into one of the buildings. And in one of the rooms, when we shined the light into it, we saw three guys standing maybe ten feet away from the doorway, facing Ben and I in a weird formation, as if they were waiting for us. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 As we no. continued following the group, we paid extra attention to the tall building we entered from the distance. And before leaving, we saw a person's face at one of the higher level windows that had not been boarded up. We never told the teacher in fear of getting in trouble. 
We didn't know what to think. Were those just homeless people living in there? Were they gang members in hiding? Illuminati. Ben freaks me out with his theory. He says they were ghosts of the people who once lived in the town. Mm. Still, the way the three guys were just hauntingly standing there so calmly, staring at us the moment we peeked our heads through that doorway, I still can't get that image out of my head. Oh my goodness. I may go back to that village one day. Like, just to prove Ben's what idea prove? wrong. <laughs> I'm not I'm not going back there. You wanna go back there with a crew or somebody like I'm not going back 20 people nothing. deep? I don't care. I'm, I'm going, going back, back 20 people deep. I'm not. I'm going back 20 people deep. We're gonna go in there or we're gonna find them ghosts. Okay, I'll wait for you to come home. Okay? <laughs> Cause I'm not going. I'm not going there. Karma says, um, don't you hate when people ask for likes from their pet's death? Boy, it's like you're celebrating his death. Yeah, I know. Chuck Norris um. created giraffes by apple cutting horses. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Um, <laughs> you're just the calmest guy. You're just the calmest Somebody guy. said you should do a mental hospital horror stories. I'm schizophrenic and have a, have had a fair share of experience in those kind of places. Mm. Oh, that would be scary, but um, it seems like like all of my field trips have been all like very, very eventful. I would say. Um, I've had a lot. I'm probably gonna talk about them um, later on on my channel when we when I started up, um, cause a lot that happened. I've told y'all about the camp the camp story, um, like where like my dad got us lost and then we had a rat in our room and it was just a whole bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. And then there was one time we went to the zoo and we went to the National Zoo at, D at DC. And we went to the little, you know, the ape exhibit, like when you're inside. Yeah, uh, 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 ape through doo doo at you or something. No, no, no. It was, it was oh. like the big, it was a big black gorilla. We was all looking, and I had my back turned, right? I had my back turned like this. Somebody was like banging on the thing, <laughs> banging on the window, and mm -hmm. then the gorilla was just sitting there minding his business. And he turned around, he said, "Bam!" Like right on the window, <laughs> and like I jumped up and I was screaming. I was like, "Oh!" And everybody else started screaming, and the teacher was like, "Let's go, let's go." <laughs> It was like, y'all can't. Getting real. Yeah, it was, like, it was like, who knocked on the window? And I didn't know, so I didn't say nothing. But everybody was just freaked out and right. I was just laughing. Sheesh. I don't know. Uh, yeah. my, my field trips was something. Lit. They were lit. As lit. Hell. Yeah. They were lit. Anyway, guys, please comment below. <laughs> don't forget to like. Subscribe. Share. It's just more I got. Deuces. Deuces.